Alright everybody, how's it going? It's been a while actually. So I've just finished up my first year at university in London. I actually got through the second year with the first, so yeah, obviously delighted with that. But I was thinking to myself just there, before I moved to London I had so many questions on it. To be honest, the research online is pretty crap. It's usually written by people who are like, really well off, their parents are spoiling them, or the people are just biased in general really. And now that I've been here for a year, I probably, you know, I could probably answer them all pretty alright. But I just thought today I'd make a video on like how it really is, like how you can afford to live here, how you can make it happen with student loans. Because I'm not ashamed to say that I don't come from like a well off background. I actually made it through the whole year without any support from my parents at all. Also I get asked all the time from other people who are thinking about coming to London for university. Uh, like questions on how they can afford to live here, do they need a job, can they do this, can they do that. So I just thought today, like a video would be a good idea on it. No better place to film it than in my student halls, I'm just gonna go about random places, and yeah, let's go! <laughs> Welcome to my bathroom. So the next thing I'm gonna talk about is actually travel. Uh, travel is one of the biggest things that you're gonna do in London because everything requires you to kind of like move about. Uh, and the public transport system is slick. Don't think about bringing your car to London, you don't need it. The biggest thing I found with travel over here, everything is a long journey. You're gonna have to get used to doing things like 40 minute journeys, you know, nearly an hour long journeys, just to get to places and they're only like a couple of miles down the road. And the transport is class and traveling is never a problem. It's possibly the biggest life hack in this entire thing I can give you is that you can actually get a 16 plus student Oyster card if you've just come to university so like you haven't uh, taken any gap years or you haven't repeated a year or anything like that. Uh, what that gives you is half price travel and free buses all over London uh, compared to an 18 plus student card because most people think because they're 18 they can't get a 16 plus, they have to get the 18 plus. But for some weird reason TfL give a 16 plus oyster and not a lot of people know about that. Uh, I'll leave a link to the description and that down below if you want to get your hands on one. Welcome to the staircase. Finance. So the biggest question I probably get asked is is studying in London actually doable? And the short answer is yes, but there's so many things to consider. Student loan, maintenance, your work, like what are you doing? So to anyone who's coming from a low income background, uh, unless your parents are throwing you some money, I would definitely recommend getting a job part time. That's another question I get asked all the time really, like how easy is it to get a job in London? Uh, and to answer that, it's really easy. There's so many places, restaurants, bars and stuff are the easiest jobs to get. And although they might not be the best pay or the best hours or the best job, it's kind of like, you know, if it's a job, it's gonna get you by. So yeah, just know that London is definitely doable, but at the same time, uh, you will definitely have to budget 100%. One of the biggest things that I was actually curious about was what the student nights out are like and how is student life in London in general. I find that whilst I'm here, like, Drinks are really expensive. It doesn't really matter if it's a student club or not. In comparison to places like Belfast and Newcastle and Liverpool, like it's completely overpriced. The biggest tip I have for anyone who's coming to start uni is definitely just pre-drink like mad. Usually the clubs over here start a lot later and end a lot later. And that kind of means you've got more time to pre-drink more if you're looking to have a drink. And it just means that when you get inside, you'll already be smashed, so you don't have to worry about buying one inside. Other than that, there's like a real mix of nightclubs over here, uh, which I kind of like actually. Most places have like a set genre of music that they're going to play or whatever. Uh, and it's kind of cool to experience that, but as well, uh, that comes at a price because there's so many bad nightclubs in London and so many good ones. Uh, so you just kind of have to learn from experience to see what you like. Okay, so another big tip that I have is like, do not ever listen to the guys yeah so do not listen to the guys at Piccadilly Circus late at night basically if you go into London at night yeah Piccadilly Circus is like such a big tourist attraction that a lot of people think there's good nightclubs there there's not because of that a lot of like club reps and stuff will be like touring about to pick up vulnerable tourists who do not know where to go and you know that could be you when you first move so my tip for you is don't listen to those guys just go off what you hear from people or like reviews online uh, to be honest, like that's the best way you're going to find out uh, and that's how you're going to know the best place to go out really. So to sum it up, London student life is really good. <laughs> so to finish off, I'm going to talk about London lifestyle and living here, the kind of like how it is. So one of the biggest things I was interested in before I came to London was whether it's a safe place to live or not. Uh, and to answer that short and sweet, it is if you just honestly like, as long as you're street smart and keep your wits about yourself, you're going to be safe. Uh, so definitely don't let that put you off coming here. One of the biggest things you should definitely take advantage of is that there's so many free things in London. If you're like me, you're on a budget all the time. There's free food. If you download apps, if you check out Time Out magazine, there's constantly free things to be able to do. And that's another perk you get with living here. There's constantly events on and things to do. So it's, it's really fun living here. Another quick note on student life here is it's really accepting and there's a lot of people here as well. So you're gonna find somebody 
who share a similar interest to you. I was, uh, you know, back home. Because I was into things like film and YouTube, like not very popular things, or like things that not a lot of people are into, I felt a bit weird and stuff. But whenever I came here, you know, I find a lot of people with similar interests. And to be honest, like, it is really refreshing to be able to, you know, like just have similar interests to people and like, like connect in that way. I definitely feel like you can just be yourself over here and you don't have to like think twice about anything you do. To sum up my first year, it's a lot of fun. It's really stressful financially. So just watch yourself and don't go crazy at Freshers because that's what I did. <laughs> don't go crazy at Freshers, try and keep do your money. Do go crazy at Freshers. <laughs> freshers is really good by the way. So guys, that's probably gonna wrap up this video to be completely honest. I try to get over everything I can and just speak as real as I could because there's so many just like reviews online and people's opinions online that I just don't think are as honest as you know I found my first year. So definitely let me know what you think in the comments down below. You can ask me any question you want and I'll definitely try to get back to you. If you don't already follow me on Instagram then definitely go for it. I'm making more videos regularly now so you guys can check them out. So be sure to subscribe if you're new and thanks a million. So good luck.